Got Phil. Hello, everybody. Today in Space Engineers, we are going to finish up that. We need to get some materials. I think we're pretty low on iron. Let's do a quick check. Iron, we've got 300 pieces. Yeah, we need iron. We're also going to need, I think it's six detector components. Put those up here. we doing with this one? We're just going to send this off really quick. Looks pretty close. Where are we? Let's see. Iron, iron, iron. We need to turn on the drills and turn on the thrusters. Very good. Let me take a quick peek and see what we need to do to finish these displays and steel tubes. Or so we can actually start making things somehow. Ooh, look at that pilot in just like an ace. What's that extra piece doing there? Ooh, that's pretty close to the wall thingy. Asteroid. <laughs> the wall thingy. It's just a wall thingy. Who knows? got all these extra cargo pieces and we need to add ore to them. So ore. This will allow our auto resin sorting script, the item sorting script, to throw all the ore in these new containers where we want. So let's so programming block, run that a few times, and we've been emptied out. Very good. We're getting a little bit of lag here. I think there's uh, too many little ore pieces floating around. When there's too many ore pieces, it tends to lag a bit when it's getting sucked in by the spherical generator. Build up. Move this just off to the side. Where did our stakanovite go? Out of the way. And all these little bits are gonna slow us down that came off of the drill. So let's do a little bit of rocking and oh, I can just feel it right there. Turn the gravity down just a little bit. I'm not hitting our other ship. No, good. Rock it in. Oh man. Oh no! I glitched out. Uh oh. We gotta save really quick. Oh no. Exit. Load that back up. Ooh, what happened? There we go. Oh, we had a good whiteout right there. That's always scary. Looks like our ship's still intact. It's a good thing we moved a little bit away from the asteroid. I think some of the uh, pieces just kind of merge into the blocks. And the code just doesn't know what to do, so it glitches out. Sometimes uh, you get that white screen. Um, I've seen other times where I had a ship just kind of blip into the, another ship. It's like it, it didn't realize that there were pieces there. So, 
I can do really strange things. I'm gonna do a quick speed through while we're picking up all this ore, trying to get the ship back into how it should be. Um, that whiteout really is not a good sign, so I want to make sure we pick up as many little pieces as we can so it doesn't happen again or something worse happens, you know, so just uh, toggle in the gravity generator to do a little push back forward and whatnot. Um, while we're at it, we're just going to clean up some of the, the ship, we're gonna, or at least the cargo module. We're going to add a few more pieces to it, um, get it kind of straightened out, get at least the core components functional on it. And I think that'll be pretty good if we get this little piece done and a few more connectors. Nice. Now we've got the connector so we can hook up with this on the top of the ship. We will get two connectors. Yay! Check that out. Alright, all this extra cargo space. So what's ne- <gasps> Ooh! No, 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 no! Stop it. Stop it. You were rotating for no reason. Don't do that. Very bad. And there must be a bunch of ore stuck inside of this ship somewhere. No, 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 no. Stop moving. Moving like that is not nice. Oh man. Thrusters are even running crazy. They might burn me to death. Where's this ore coming from? Bad ship. Bad ship. Bad ship. Stop it. Oh man. Okay, let's try to get inside of it. Maybe we can do this. No, no, it's not letting us. Okay, down here. And find the spherical generator and turn it off. Maybe that'll help it. Stop. Stop being a bad ship. Oh, what is it doing? It's fucking possessed. What do I do? Okay, it stopped again. Good. Good. No, bad. Oh, look at look at this ore just shooting out of it. It's like, oh man. Hopefully that did it. It's like a bad cold or something. It's just got to puke out the bad food. It's got food poisoning. It's got ore poisoning. Let's call it that. That's what it seems like. Well, oh man, that's scary. I, I, I think uh, I've been doing a lot of testing, you know, outside of this game, or like this uh, series, to do, uh, what is it, spherical gravi gravity generators so they don't pull stuff into the little crevices of the ship. And I don't have anything for a ship like this to do that. Oh man, there's more coming out. Magically appearing ore. Take that. That's one of the problems with having the spear. Oh no, I'm stuck now. Oh, oh, got out of that. No, no, no. Oh. I'm getting stuck in the ship. That is so not a good sign. Okay, this thing is just glitching like crazy. Make it through the door. Oh shit, I'm stuck in the door. Where's the button panel? Okay, button. Sphere. On. Oh god, got out. Okay. Whoa. Okay. We shouldn't mine for a little bit. Is there like ore stuck in there? Where is the ore glitched out? I'm probably going to creative mode and like 
delete the ship and re-add it or something? Man. No, get out of the door. Stuck again. Stuck. I'm going full backwards. Look at that. My thrusters are going insane. Okay, sphere. Flip it back. 11G off. There we go. Should push some of this stuff out, maybe? Oh, great, now my oxygen is low. I can't get into my ship. At least I've got all these connections on the outside. Let's suck that down. Okay, well... Huh. The next thing that I was gonna do was... God, please don't... Don't do anything weird. Stay like a good ship. Is it moving or am I moving? I can't tell. So I got a new script to put into this. No, no, no. Stay. Bad. Okay, we're gonna stay away from this ship. It's possessed. So I think when it did the whiteout, it did something really weird. Oh man, something's gonna explode. Okay. Well, I did some testing with this script, and I need to make a sensor and a text panel. So let's we'll just get this one here. Grab a sensor. Grab a text panel. For the small ship, I need a few displays, construction components, and computers. Do I have any displays in here? No. Put them all on the other ship. Oops. Slap this text panel on the back. Gotta have the text panel for the code because it is crappy. And enough, awesome. So we've got a text panel on this. Let's throw a sensor on. Oh, I need interior plate. Okay, don't glitch, don't glitch. I'm getting close to you, be nice. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to my ship like it's alive. Still can't hold those radio components, and we need a bunch of them for this. Which is going to be kind of a pain, but no problem. We got this. Okay. I think it's time to get a base gun, so we're not relying on it. Everything in like all our eggs in one basket. Uh, if this blows up like it looked like it wanted to, um, we'd be totally screwed. I'd have to go steal more ships, break that one down. Uh, I think that's the only way that I can survive. It might be entertaining if like something like that happens. So, well. We'll see. I'm not gonna do it on purpose, but if it happens, it's gonna happen, and I guess we're gonna have to keep playing because that's what a let's play is—just like you know, dealing with the good and bad of it. So how much time do we have in already? We spent like what five, ten minutes, like freaking out on that ship. Just gonna cut back what I had scheduled to do. I, when I do these, I, I try to get a few things just to keep things moving so I've got something to 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 do, some like goals to accomplish and whatnot. So let's see, since we got that piece going, we're gonna switch to our uh, timer block first. Turn the program that's currently running. We switch to the programmable block. We're gonna remove what's in there. Switch out to our little minor assist program. So what this is going to do is it's got a, a mode for auto mode on and auto mode off. And it'll use that sensor to detect stuff. And it's going to do a printout, a fancy printout of the ore that's being used or the storage space that's being used with ore in it. Turn on the drills when it's um, got auto mining on it. It detects an asteroid. 
and some other cool fancy stuff so it'll stop like running when it's got a full container or it can't find an asteroid and those types of things. So we're gonna have to make that group that's in the top of it if it's auto mining. And then we're gonna have to make a couple extra panels in here. So let's go to control and go to the second bar, go to the programming block. Programming block. And we can add an argument in here and what was it? Auto mode? Let's check really quick. I'm flipping over to my text over here. And auto mode. It doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. So that's going to turn it on. And I keep grabbing that thruster. So go there, run this one, and that's going to be off mode. The next thing that we need to do is we need to take the auto thruster group. We need to take the drill group and our sensor group. And what is the group again? It's auto mining. Auto mining. Like so. So now we've got the auto mining group and all that. So if we go to the programming block, do an edit, remember, and exit, so it refreshes that list of uh, whatchamacallit's pieces and whatnot. It does an initializing. It found all these drills. It found the sensor. It found everything else. So I think we're good. So let's go into the sensor block. And we're going to set it to show on HUD since we've got an antenna and show on HUD. It will go ahead and... Um, what am I looking for? What word? It'll auto-magically start to... Um, I just completely lost my train of thought. That's awesome. Um, it'll, oops, show the field setting and when we've got the sensor on. So we've got the sensor range right there. You can see it's a little bit big. Let's go ahead and cut that back. Okay, I did it pretty good, I think, for just like winging it. I've done it a few times on similar ships, so, yeah, it's not too impressive. I've been playing with sensors a lot, and sensors are some of the best things ever made. So we need to top up just a little bit, and then I was thinking it was in the middle, and it's not, so let's go to the top. We'll make that 3. We'll do the bottom is 1.5. Maybe this should be 2.5. 2.5. Top extends close, bottom extends close. Very good. So now, oh, I don't want to run it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just get it set. So now what we end up doing is we hit the number one and it tries to detect stuff. And why is it just running? That's weird. Is it because this isn't set right? We've got a set to detect players, not asteroids. It should turn itself off since the sensor's coming in false. Maybe we turn that back off. Programming block. Go back to edit. Remember and exit. Run. Oh, haha! I have to turn the timer block back on. So it checks. To, it turns everything on, then it goes. Hey, wait a second. There's no asteroid there. So when I get close to an asteroid, it's going to go ahead and automatically start jamming into it. Let's go ahead and turn that piece off. We don't see the sensors anymore. The beacon is on. I don't like the beacon name too. So let's call it. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's going to refresh it anyway, isn't it? Yeah. All good. So let's see, the next step that we wanted to do, since we got that drilling ship going, let's see how much time we got right now. I wanted to slap a, a drill on this system here. And we're going to do a piston style setup. So let's see, I didn't grab too much. I can cut out a couple pieces. And I'm getting stuck in the ship again. Maybe if I cut these pieces out, it'll unbug. See how long it stays bugged. I might end up having to go into creative mode and reset the ship. Just, you know, copying and pasting it and moving it out of the 
what's currently in here. So what we're going to do is right here we're going to put a little conveyor system. And then we're going to jam a piston on the front of this. Let's get the piston blocks. And then let's get the drill blocks. And I think still got a little bit of a hook to it. The ship that is, it's like grabbing me and I can feel when I move around that just something's not right. So we're going to make the ship even better, right? Since it's going to just fall apart. Well, this will definitely kill me. Oh, we're getting low on energy. Perfect timing, because I need to get into this ship to add that drill. We're going to go ahead and weld this portion up really quick. Um, do all the little grindy work, like getting the extra plates, steel plates, and um, just getting all the components for it. So, one of the things that they ended up doing in the new patch is if an ore container or like refinery is full, you can't move this stuff out. So one of the things that I'm doing in here is I'm grabbing the ore, throwing it into an empty container so it's got some space so I can move things around. And we realize that we don't have any steel plates because the ore wasn't getting cycled around. So we're just gonna take the landing gears off of this mining hauler, mining carriage that we picked up. And the landing gears just have a bunch of steel plates. So that should cover everything that we need, steel plate-wise. You might notice that the drills and the welders are all yellow. It's a feature of the new patch. They basically kind of are bugged right now, so just bear with on that. We're going to add a couple more drills to the end of this boom, and it'll allow us to collect more ore at a, a quicker rate. Hopefully it won't spaz or ship out or anything. But one of the reasons why I'm doing it this way with the pistons, I recently added a script to the Steam Workshop that automates the, the process of um, extending the boom. Um, it, it's just going to be a pretty simple way of doing it. So we're going to be adding in this timer here. And the timer block's going to automate the program so it continually cycles through um, searching for the ore and whatnot. So should work out pretty well, save a bit of time. And the sensor, what it'll do is, it'll detect an asteroid, and when there's an asteroid in its range, and speaking of which, we need to change the sensor. So we're gonna hook this little ship up to it. So it's got an antenna. And the antenna will allow us to see the sensor range that we wouldn't be able to see um, without an antenna on the ship, and these large ships, the antennas are pretty big, and they take up just a ton of space, and I just don't really want to put one on this ship. So we need to go into this part. We've got the drills, we've got the pistons, and let's see, for the piston, or just the piston, let's call it boom, because that's what it is. And then the sensor is going to be the boom sensor. And then the drills. So we're gonna go for the drills, the piston, and the sensor. We're gonna call, call this drill boom and save that group. I'm not gonna worry about it doing um, anything fancy like warning lights or anything like that. So we're gonna flip over, grab the drill boom script that we have on the workshop. And up at the top, it's got Drill Boom for what it wants as the group name. And maybe I should have done another piston. Ah, this will work. It will still get a ton of stuff. And what it does is it automatically pushes that boom, this boom right here out, when there's um, an asteroid next to it. So let's go into the programming block, and we're going to call this Drill Boom. I'm going to edit it, copy and paste this code in. And the version that I've got um, isn't what I have on the workshop. There's indenting and stuff that you can see on this version. Um, I use tabs for everything else that I do. Um, and then it's just smaller. It's something I got into the habit of doing. So when I upload it to the workshop, that's when I go ahead and um, get rid of the tabs and replace it with spaces. So couldn't find a display. I don't think that matters. 
There's no group for gravity mangling, no group for lights, no problem. No group for thrusters. Okay, so it's awaiting input. Perfect. And let's go ahead and go to that sensor. Go ahead and toggle the block on. Show on the HUD. Our info has it allowed. And it's not showing through the uh, antenna on that ship. That's weird. It used to do that. Well, we'll just wing it. Um, let's see. So sensors in the middle. Our top extend is going to be low. If we do maybe two meters, it should take it. The back extend is going to be a little bit higher, so let's do it as four. We're going to do the left extend to... Let's do 2.5, and same with the right extend. We'll get those pieces in. The bottom extend is the back. We don't... The back? No. Bottom? The back extend is how... F f uh, how low it's going. Okay, then the front extend is the top piece up there. Bottom extend is getting the ship to detect so maybe 13 will be good and then top extend is the backside and we don't need that at all so let's go ahead and switch the front to one the minimum back extend even number of three and that should work so now we go ahead and go to the timer block set it to one second do the action find the programming block and that's the boom. We're going to run this. No arguments. Perfect. And then we're going to find that timer block and add it to start itself. So now when we start it up, it ends up looping it every second. Perfect. That's what we want. And now we want to do the uh, mom, 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 mom. piece do we want to test out. We're going to disconnect that ship. way over time. I think I'm just going to call it right here. When we come back, we'll show off everything that we made. We'll get this boom going, get to some grinding stuff, hopefully move in, and a few other things. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you next time. Did you just do a Hitler salute? What the hell? Dude, I did There's no button. There you go. Stop it. Bad. Bad. Stop being bad.